Hi, today we are going to talk about causes for aircraft engine to quit during run-up or during flight. Those causes are not related to carburetor ice. In the picture you will be able to see on the left hand side the marble Schembler uh, MA-3 on the right hand side you will be able to see the MA-4-5 and etc. The arrows are pointing into the float ball vent screen. In uh, MA-3 in order to reach the screen you have to take the carburetor apart. In the MA4-5 the axis is external as you can see on the right hand side. If the, if the screen is plugged and the, pa and the passages to the vent system from the bowl is distracted or plugged, what will happen, the air pressure in the bowl will rise during engine run and caused by evaporation or any other reasons. And the pressure will, the air pressure will exceed the hydrostatic pressure of the fuel coming in the carburetor and will disturb the the flow of fuel into the carburetor that will cause this engine rough and engine stop due to lack of fuel supply into the car into the engine Today we are going to concentrate on MA-3 carburetor, which is the more complicated one. Uh, first of all, you have to dis disconnect the carburetor from the aircraft, and then remove the four the four bolts which are located where the arrows are two in the front and two in the back. Once you took the carburetor apart and took the float out, uh, you can soak the part on on the picture, you know, for as in the carburetor cleaner, as the as the cleaner instruction are, or you can spray into the in hole where the arrow point in until you see that the carburetor cleaner coming out from the out arrow between the venturi and the body of the carburetor then you can blow through the in area with the air gun 120 to 140 psi for a minute or two make sure the screen is clear you can use a magnifying glass or any other method and repeat that thing for several times until the passage is absolutely free with the I mean you can blow in it, in it if you can you know with the tube and make sure the air coming out of the um, venturi area between the venturi area and the and the housing of the carburetor. At that point remove the fuel inlet screen showing with the arrow on the top and then remove the float needle seat as it's shown on the bottom. You should use a special tool in order to remove the float needle seat and then <clears throat> uh, 
spray lightly the screen, the um, fuel inlet screen and lightly blow it with air make sure it's clear put it against a light bulb and make sure it's clear flush the inlet and the outlet the fuel outlet with carburetor cleaner as shows in the picture as both ends make sure it's soaked very well then blow from the right arrow toward the left arrow with air 120 to 140 psi and make sure the passage is clear at that time it's a good idea to clean the accelerator pump screen there are two arrows pointing to a two bolts remove those two bolts you probably will face a scenario as in the picture please remove the accelerator pump screen as the arrow pointed in it soak the, everything in carburetor cleaner including the screen you can spray it and lightly uh, blow it with air gun make sure that you put the screen against the light and you don't see, and everything will show is clear from now on put everything together you are ready to go i wish you well and shalom from israel